There is nothing like young people celebrating a job well done and an accomplishment well deserved while pushing themselves to their mental and physical limits. The increasingly popular sport of cheer has a champion from the state of Texas we can all celebrate. For the cheer squad at Trinity Valley Community College in Athens, Texas, just over an hour southeast of Dallas, a shot at a national title in their first year in the small co ed division required a singular focus. It's like a great accomplishment because we've been working this whole entire year just for this one competition. There's nothing else. Therefore, to settle for anything less than first place would not have been good enough. In Daytona Beach, the Cardinals performed as though their only competition was themselves. What you want the most typically is just to see your group of athletes getting to be the, the last ones to get their names called. And that's just what happened. TVCC secured its 13th national title in the overall history of the program. Something the average person, unless you've watched one of the streaming shows on the sport, would never know. It, but what if I were to call you guys the best kept secret? Do you like that? Do you hate that? What do you feel about that label? It's just super unique. And unless you're in it and can be around to see it, um, the, the major programs in the East Texas area, you really just, <laughs> you've got no scope. Um, so being any part of, of a best kept secret sounds good to me. Cheer is way bigger here, and it was, it's just, it's extreme. I'll say that it's very extreme here. Extreme to see a well deserved celebration after another year in which Trinity Valley Community College made a big splash. And they know it ended right there in Daytona. Now it's back to business. I want to be the best of the best. So you got to continue to uphold that title and use it as motivation. That feeling of excitement lasts about 10 minutes, and then it's, okay, what are we going to do next year to be better? The Cardinals are living in the moment, but also aware they just created a lifelong memory. I've never won anything until I came to Texas, so this is definitely going to be a capsule in time for me. And if we did our job really well, then 10 years from now, 20 years from now, these young people will still be in contact with each other and have fond memories of the year that they spent, not just fond memories of the, the two minutes they performed. Now, in the large co-ed division, Trinity won it all last year, but Navarro College comes back to take the title this year. Navarro and Trinity Community, the two junior colleges that have starred on that Netflix series, highlighting a growing sport. I'm in amazement. I mean, yeah. just some of the things in the choreography, not to mention the acrobatics. It's, it's, just it's like, incredible to watch. I mean, those kids are athletes. I mean, athletes that obviously are taking a sport that many people think is a niche sport. Right. And, and they're taking it up to a level where people are like, I got to see this. I don't know why more people don't watch it. It's so compelling. I know Annalise watched it. Not only watched <laughs> it, Anna, Annalise performed. You, you had a major role on your high school team. Yeah, I did, uh, but I was not near the level of those girls. Uh, but yeah, I cheered for uh, all my high school career and did not did not continue on. I, I watched that show, guys, during maternity leave with my husband. I made him watch season two. It is unreal. I was show, telling him about how physical doing those routines yeah. over and over mm -hmm. until they get it perfect. I'm just amazed by their athleticism, like you guys said. So. Good for them. Congratulations. And right here in our backyard, you know, just south of Dallas, Fort Worth.